And the fight continues. Hit them with the zombie vomit! Ow, 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 ow. She looks more dead than she was before. I kill her again! Um. Let's use. Our potion large. There we go. Get that attack up. And then. You fools! Princess Kinney controls the universe! <laughs> well, that did. Nothing. Let's get the fucking ninja stars going on in here. Oh, 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 oh. Get that five times bleeding. Rainbow attack, Princess Kitty. Ow. And we'll use another large potion. Why not? Since we can. Uh. Well, let's do this. Show them, Princess Kitty. There once was a maiden from st 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 Oh, st now. Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw uh. Boy did she sw sw swallow. I had a nice man that she said that. Uh. And she set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry who is also your mom. Wow, what a terrific audience. Ability up. Ability down. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, oh, oh. Fight for a demon, it's too bad we can't Give use Kyle anymore, Give these vermin a taste but... of their own medicine, Princess Kinney! Kyle really seemed OP, though. Oh. Oh! Mash! Look at that! No! Where are you going with Princess Kinney's rat, Samuel? <laughs> what a what, twist! What are we waiting for? Yeah, Butters is in here. Let's go. Ooh, I better catch my breath. Um, we should probably. You're the Wait. dragonborn. You don't take shit from anybody. I'll need to use some. How did I? I thought I had the uh, thingy that recovers Make my me power proud, points. You well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Just do this, and then another backstab. Up, up, up. There we go. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kinney! No, no, Ow. no, no, no! You stop that. Mm. I kind of have more power points for myself, so... Let's do... Yeah, there's a large one. Let's, let's use that. Why not? Get that attack up. And we could summon... Yeah, let's summon Professor Chaos. Why not? For one last time. Let's see how you like dealing with me. <laughs> and let's see what we get. Oh, the shield. Well, it may actually be pretty convenient. Since there aren't too many enemies. So this could actually work out. Hmm... Let's use a small health potion. Wow, what a fantastic boss fight. On butters. And we'll go backstab. Up, up, up. A little bit more to go. Hit them with the zombie vomit! Ow, 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 ow. Oh! She died? Or did she? I think all the dying is making her tired. Keep killing her! Uh, oh. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kinney! Ow. Well, I guess I could just uh, don't be blinded by her the the by the hammer wow. that is. Wow. Nice. That did some damage. Oh, let's use the fucking ninja stars to get the residual damage. And I hear like two hundred HP every horn. time. You'd better pray for a miracle. Let's see. Oh. What is this? Oh! Huh. There's chaos! <laughs> what happens now? Some quick event commands? Or probably. Oh! Mash A! How can this be? Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companions. Nice! Stan is here. We got Stan here. Awesome. 
And I still got my shield, although, you know, Butters' shield didn't carry over, but oh well. So far so good. Mark for death. Go get him, boy. Let's do Discus of Might. Let's see what that does. Nothing. Use your rainbow oh, wow. attack, Princess Guinea. Ow. Let's use Hell Potion on Stan. Get my attack up too. So nice. Backstab. So far so good. Hit them with the zombie vomit! Ow, 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 ow. Mark for death. Let's try out something different. Let's try out. Yeah, way of the sword. That's so awesome. Yep. Let's stop. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Well, so I got the burn damage. So that's awesome. More residual damage for the win, I guess. Oh, oh. Yeah, she's done for. Princess Kinney, call upon your beautiful Nazi unicorn. Unicorn. What the heck is this? <laughs> wow! Oh! Why? No, I failed! Oh! He's dying. Oh! Well, Kenny is dead. Or is she? Uh, hey, Princess Kenny, is it too late for me to join your side? Wow. Cartman, really? Let's just go. Yes, it did one damage. Do it. No. Still more. She doesn't stay no. dead. We can't beat her. Till we're fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code. Kick what? him in the balls. Carmen, you can't possibly need. What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's balls. I'm oh, now fart. asking you yeah, I'll guess to break that oath. Right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kitty's balls, King Douchebag. Do it! Mm -hmm. Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kitty's balls. What about the gentleman's oath? Uh, I haven't really used farts. Right? I need mana. Okay, well, let's... The girl we knew is Princess Kitty is dead. Well, let's use this thing. Why not? There we go, mana boost. And then we should be able to. No. Too used to using abilities. Dragon Shout or. Come on, let's do cover spell. Press down and then. Mm. Oh, that failed one. Oh. We still got it? I guess we did. <laughs> We're back to normal. <laughs> and that mysteriously cures everyone. We're cured! You're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. Ah, oh, makes sense. That's the logical conclusion. I'm being cured from a zombie apocalypse. Well, let's see what's going on in here. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? <gasps> Can we really speak here? Screw you guys. I'm going home. <coughs> wow, what 
What a dick. Wow. What? That's Al Gore. And now... Uh, that... I, I, I guess that was it. We have the ending credits here in... In the good old style of, uh... South Park. Well... Okay. That was it. Well, that was certainly an interesting ending to, um... Say the least. But, uh... I gotta say, overall, I uh, really enjoyed this game. It was definitely a uh, really fun experience here. And let's see. Are, there, are these credits are just going to keep rolling or... Um, is there, I, I guess I'll just keep on rambling then. Well, overall, I must say I really enjoyed this as a fan of South Park and also as, a, as an RPG fan. It was definitely an interesting... Uh, experience and now okay now we have the real the real credits though were, those were like the South Park credits and then we have the actual game credits okay well yeah anyways like I was saying really enjoyed this game as a South Park fan and as an RPG fan and uh, from the South Park perspective this was a really unique experience something that we've never had before because um, yeah, having a long South Park, South Park adventure like this, it was definitely, definitely great. And it was really cool just exploring the South Park by yourself, by yourself, you know, taking your time, you know, for the first time. And I think it was in one of the uh, trailers where Trey Parker and Matt Stone were like, uh, they were saying that, you know, for the first time they actually had the thought, you know, where the boys and where everybody in South Park actually lives, because usually they just cut from one place to another. They actually never thought this out. So, as a South Park fan, it was kind of cool to explore explore around the town of South Park, you know, taking your time, doing all the missions, meeting all the people yourself here, and it was a really cool experience, and, you know, we've never had this kind of South Park experience, this long adventure in, in style of South Park and this this game was really true to the style of South Park and it was it, it's just really in kind of it kind of felt like I wasn't playing a game I was just you know uh, watching an episode of South Park and just kind of interacting along that's what it kind of kind of felt like but it was a good thing because yeah we've never had anything like this because you know, when, when you think about the episodes, they're only like about 20 minutes long. And, and, well, of course, sometimes you have like longer episodes like Imagination Land and stuff like that, which are like three episodes, but even those are like one hour. And then there was the movie Bigger, Longer, Uncut, which was like, I don't know how long that was. It's been so long since I last watched that. But, you know, it was like an hour, hour, hour and a half, something like that. But this was like, I don't know, it was probably like between uh, seven to ten hours depending how you play and you have all the side quests to to do I guess I could still do those but you know having this long South Park adventure was something that we've never really had as a South Park fan and that with that being said I would say I definitely recommend this ga game to all the South Park fan even if they're not video game fans although <laughs> the chances are if you are uh, like South Park, you also like uh, <laughs> video games, but if you're not an RPG fan, this is definitely easy to get into uh, as a South Park fan. And a really cool experience, even if you're not an RPG fan. But from the R RPG uh, perspective, you know, it was, uh, it was still a fun experience. I don't know. I guess in a way it was maybe a bit too easy, even though I turned to hardcore at the end. You know, there wasn't, you know, too much of a challenge, and I kind of felt OP all the time, but, but still, you know, I had to be on my toes all the time, because if I would just, you know, you know, goof around, I would get killed, and I did a few times, but, you know, against, like, bosses and stuff, like, I was never really in any real trouble, and, you know, I was, I was in control. Pretty much the whole time. Even though I didn't like use all the patches and stuff like that, I only noticed that at the end that I could use them to get extra boost. But it's not like I really needed them. So I think overall this was pretty simple. But then again, I just mostly played this, uh, you know, for the South Park story, and that's really, really what I got out of this. It was a really 
uh, fun South Park experience, really in the style of South Park. And they had some really good video game elements, you know, that they made, made some jokes about video games. So it wasn't like your, your traditional South Park story. They really put effort into this and they had, you know, video game related jokes like at the beginning they made fun of the game mechanics themselves which was uh, you know a really fun way to get into this game and they made all sort of you know there were lots of uh, Skyrim references too which were really fun I, I played a lot of, a lot of uh, Skyrim too so you know those Dragonborn things were they were they were pretty funny and learning all the shouts which were farts in this game it was kind of cool and then there was the Old school 8 bit Canada part. That was a really fun part of the game, too. How they uh, how they made Canada look in this game because they always in the series portray it differently and they, they did something unique for Canada in this game, too. So that was kind of cool. The 8 bit Canada parts, and uh, yeah, it's just overall great storytelling. You know, they had a lot of teasers at the you know, how the game kind of ended, you know, at the beginning, you know, there was the whole thing that never fart on man's balls and then that's the thing that you had to do at the end in order to uh, defeat the final boss which was zombie princess Kenny. But um, overall about the story, I think it was a well written story and uh, you know, you went to so many different places, uh, you know, there was the alien spaceship in Canada and then, you know, traveling all, all around South Park, but it was still, the whole story was kept as a whole, even though there were so different, you know, scenarios everywhere, which was cool. Uh, the ending, though, um, I think was a pretty, was pretty good, though I would have kind of liked if there was some sort of real build-up for the ending boss, because you thought it was going to be Clyde, then you kind of thought it was the big bad government guy, but then in the end it was just... Kenny, you know, making her turn. You know, I guess it was cool to have a plot twist at the end, and there were many of them, but, you know, still, I don't know. I'll ramble more if there's a cutscene, or is there? We'll see. Hmm. Oh. Um. Victory. Confront Kenny. Quest completed. Betrayal from within. So we don't have a ending cutscene or anything? Or I guess the one that was before the credits, that was it. Well, let's go talk to mom and dad. Maybe they'll have something to say. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Go play with your new friends today. And dad is our friend now, finally. I hope your new friends are well behaved. Now he believes in us, kinda. Son, I'll give you $20 if you talk right now. And hmm, no. you're not as ugly as I remember. Okay. But about the story, I guess the only thing that didn't really come to a conclusion is why this main character had uh, forgotten everything and he doesn't remember a thing. That wasn't really explained. Or maybe I just missed something. I don't know. But, you know, that, that's how the whole game started. You moved to this quiet little mountain town and, you know, it was apparent that, you know, the main character doesn't remember a thing. And I guess there isn't really anything going on here, but I'll explore, explore and ramble around for a little bit longer. Hello. Hey, you're getting popular. I need yeah. to get in on that. Nice. But, yeah, that, that part wasn't really explained why the main character doesn't remember anything. But in the end, it was kind of funny that, uh, I guess she's not saying, it's funny how, you know. Hey, you're that popular kid. Oh, do you want to be a friend? No. The ending was kind of funny. It had the classic line, you know, I, I think a really appropriate way to a end a South Park game with the classic line, screw you guys, I'm going home. And, uh, you know, character hasn't talked throughout this game and you kind of waited to hear if he's gonna say anything, in the end, you know, he at least said something. In kind of a corny voice, but still. Let's go around to the city hall or something. Do 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 do. Let's see. Still haven't found Jesus, too bad. Let's go to the city hall. Is there anything going on in here? 
But still, overall, enjoyed this as a Star Park fan. Maybe as an RPG fan, this was a bit too simple and maybe too easy, but... Uh... Hey, kid. Maybe you can oh. help us with something. All these homeless people in South Park are making us look like a cold and heartless town. If you could go and beat the crap out of all the bums and <laughs> vagrants, they'll leave town, and it'll restore South Park's reputation as a compassionate community. You gotta get every single one of those bastards, okay? Chop chop! Okay, well, that would be a side mission that I guess I could do at some point. But I don't know. I'm probably not gonna be posting any of these side missions. But I'm wondering if there's any, like, really cool, cool ones to do. And what I'm thinking is, like, the one we had with Kim. Mr. Kim. That was a cool mission because there was, you know, a long cutscene there at the beginning with the Mongolians and then you had to go to go to the Tower of Peace and clean that up and everything. That was a cool side mission. And the, there's probably some more summons, you know, in this Stay game. I really didn't end up using the summons. I didn't need to. That's the thing. So I guess, you know, that's another thing about this game being kind of... Kind of simple, kind of easy, but still the main reason I played this was because, you know, it's South Park and it's a long South Park story and that's what I really got out of this game in the end. You know, a really good, long South Park story. And it didn't really uh, disappoint, you know, there were controversial things about it. But, uh, you know, that's what, you know, South Park is still all about. It's controversy and stuff like that, so... South Park had its controversial, controversial humor here, but they had some video game related humor, which really made me a happy camper. Hey, look, there's another kid here. Billy tried to steal my hidey spot, but I made him go away. There we go. Still a few more to go. Probably not going to find them all, but I'll look, look on as I ramble here. And, oh. We could go... I have... Well, obviously, I haven't been to this part, so let's just go explore, I guess. Yeah, this is the same kind of forest that we were earlier. Oh, there's some random walls. I guess we could do one last battle with the wolves. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin the final fight. We had the final fight. Can't ruin that by having random wolves, but now they're surrounding me. So I guess that would be a sign to um, just end things here, I guess. But definitely a fun experience. I would recommend this to every South Park fan, definitely. It was a good story. Never had a story quite like this in South Park. This is something that, you know, South Park creators can't really do on their own. With their own formats of 20-minute episodes or, uh, you know, even a movie. This is something that they, they only could do in form of a video game. And that was really cool to see. And they really did deliver on this game. Can you go away, wolves? I'm trying not to fight anyone. Because the one the final fight must be the final fight. So I guess I'll just hang on here. On this forest. It does have pretty cool music here. There's also some definitely Skyrim. Skyrim um, inspired music in this game. Overall, I think the, the battle music could have been like a bit different, more battle like, like in old school RPGs. So, I guess I, if I would have some complaints, that would be it. You know, the music wasn't bad, but you know, the ma battle music could have been more battle y, if that makes any sense. You know, like I said, more in like old school RPGs. But, oh well, it was still definitely a great experience. And the South Park game definitely delivered. Hands down the best South Park game ever released. So much actually effort was put into this game. And like I was saying, like this this is a unique South Park experience only a video game can bring to you. They were actually able to deliver a long South Park story. Uh, but anyways, I talked about that already enough. But in a summary, I think that was already my summary. Great South Park game, um, good story, at least by South Park standards, long one, something unique we haven't seen before, and from RPG standpoints, it was it was it was fun to play. Maybe a bit too simple, wasn't really too difficult, even at the hardcore difficulty at the end. But uh, 
still as an RPG fan, I enjoyed. And it felt like, just kind of felt like I was just interacting in a South Park episode more. At, well, it felt more like interacting with a South Park episode as opposed to, you know, playing a video game. But that's only a good good thing, because this game was truly made uh, truly made in the style of South Park, and uh, it just feels like a South Park episode. You so. are grounded, mister. Oh. You march right on home and go to sleep. Really? Okay, mom and dad. Well, that happened. Okay, well, I guess we'll conclude the episode here at home. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm most likely not going to do any random missions. I don't really know. I want this to be the final episode. But, yeah, now I have gone way too long rambling. Hopefully that made some sen sense. I tried to make some sort of opinions and thoughts at the end about this game. Because, um, yeah, I did really enjoy it. So, um... With that being said, I will stop rambling and repeating myself, as I always do. And I will check you guys next time with something different. Lots of games coming out during the springtime. We'll see, I could do some new ones, some old ones. Uh, but we'll see. So many options to choose from. But this was definitely a fun experience. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. This is Spade, signing out. Peace.